again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Phantom Airborne All the Way. I'm your host, Greg Stanley. On today's episode, we're going to be interviewing Phantom members Dan Ridgway and Brian Watkins of Airborne Apparel Company. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow us across all of our social media platforms and comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see. Let us know your questions. Give us your input. Tell us what you'd like to see on future shows. So welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for hey, having happy us. Happy to be here, yeah, Greg. Uh, I think this is a great, great start. First time go with a couple of great interviews. All right. We have our very first guest on our uh, this podcast. And Dan Ridgway, I'd like you to introduce yourself. And uh, let's start out with a little bit about your military experience. Hey, great Americans. Hey, uh, new command sergeant major retired Dan Ridgway. Um, did 23 years in the in the army. Um, I grew up looking at my uh, grandfather and my my dad, my uh, airborne daddy's uh, tattoos on. So all I wanted to do was jump out of planes. So I went down to the MEP station after 14 and a half years of trying to get out of high school. Uh, you know, and I I was strutting. Big time with my 13 Bravo, going to be an artilleryman in the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg, right up till I got to the dock. Well, when I was 11, I broke my back, and so that, they shot that one down. So I ended up being an air defense 20-millimeter uh, Gatling gun crew member in Korea. It took me 10 years to get an airborne packet signed off, um, and then I was on my way to jump school. That was in 89. Uh, graduated jump school the uh, day they jumped into Panama, uh, so they left without me. Went to the 82nd, uh, squad leader, platoon sergeant, um, went to jump master uh, school, best course I've ever graduated there. Um, went to Desert Shield, Desert Storm with the 82nd, um, left there, went to be attacking CO at uh, West Point for a year or two years. Uh, went to Fort, Fort Drum to be a first sergeant, um, then down to Sergeant Majors Academy, uh, then waiting on a battalion and uh, had the privilege and honor of being the uh, Command Sergeant Major for the uh, only Airborne Air Defense Battalion in the free world, 3rd Battalion Airborne, 4th Air Defense Artillery Regiment at Fort Bragg. Hey, that's that's pretty awesome, Sergeant Major. I mean, you know, most of us, uh, you know, in Phantom, we've got the, the, you know, wide berth of experiences, both paratroopers and then in our time in the military. Um, even outside of the Army, we even, we even catered to a couple of Marines. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's a great long career. Congratulations on your retirement. That's pretty awesome. So how, how did you hear about Phantom and what led you to the organization? So I jumped to Zephyr Hills a bunch of times. Um, but one of my Sergeant Major buddies uh, said, hey, you heard about Phantom. So I, I looked him up last November and I was like, this is all me. This is me. I'm, I'm in. So I you know, got on the website, became a member, got manifested for the December jump. And, and I've been on, I think, every jump since then that, that's uh, gone. You had the unique experience. A couple of months back of jumping with your son, who is also a paratrooper. I did. Um, like I said, my grandfather jumped into Sicily uh, in World War II. Um, my father was in the 11th Airborne in, in Germany, uh, Warner Concern. Uh, then there's my brother was in the 101st in the 70s. Uh, then there's me. Uh, and then my son, uh, he went in the Army as a drone pilot and got the Airborne option. So he, he did get his set of wings. Never, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I would, uh, you know, be sitting in a twin otter next to my son who's in the middle. That's and awesome. Bale, and Larry Bales on the, uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm next to the safety, the red shirt, and Larry Bales on the other one. Never in my that wildest has, dreams did I, did I think that I'd get to jump with my son. Yeah, that has to be a really cool experience. I, I mean, I, I've been around here for a few years now, and I can tell you, um, it doesn't happen often, but we have had other father son uh combinations we've had a uh, grandfather grandson uh bill phillips jumped with uh his grandson jeremy probably one of my first jumps that uh, i had here at phantom uh we've had a mother daughter team um uh we i had a, a father son team come up to me at the water jump last november and introduce themselves so um it doesn't happen often but it happens more often than you would think and it, that's a really super cool experience it is. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it was just friggin' awesome. And kudos to, to to Phantom for being for doing stuff like that. I mean, it is. Yep. Words can't express the the feelings of you know jumping with your son or jumping with your daughter. Yep. You know, whatever it is. Uh, you know, after twenty five years of, of being out and you know never even having the wildest dream that you do that. So, 
And he's uh, jumping with us this weekend. And he is. is. He's manifesting. Uh, yep. Nice. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing him. So, right. so what keeps you coming back to Phantom then, Dan? You know, uh, I'm an airborne type guy. Um, you know, shy and introverted like I am. A lot of you know that. Um, uh, yeah, if I, if I can get up in the air and jump, that that's all about me. Um, and, you know, I know that I've, I've heard of other, you know, uh, outfits like this that do some stuff like this. Um, but, uh, you know, God has a way to kind of steering me to the right people. And this is, this is, this is a, a top notch outfit. I'll tell you what, all, all the airborne nights that, that run phantom, you guys are top notch. And I'll tell you, um, I thought I knew some stuff and just being around phantom for, you know, eight, nine months. It's like, I, I see stuff that I, I never really even think of, you know, so you guys are top notch. Uh, hats off to you. And, and you, you've earned your wings already too. Am I, and I'm, I, I did. That. I did. And, you know, matter of fact, uh, as about a month ahead of Larry Bales, I think, because, uh, uh, you know, we had, we all started about the same. There's a couple of us that started at the same time. And, you know, we had the December jump. And I think we jumped twice in January. We had that, that two mm-hmm. jump. Um, and then we had a couple more jumps and, and, uh, you know, some of the guys have missed, missed a jump. And so all of a sudden there was Ridgeway, you know, getting his wings pinned on. And <laughs> if I, if I remember correctly, you kind of, uh, made sure you had them set properly by, uh, I you- did. um, if you put, I guarantee you, if you put something like this on your shirt, when you go to get your wings pinned, um, it has a ten- tendency to incite the natives. Yeah. So for, for all of you guys who don't know, and you have not seen the video out there, I have a clip of it that I want to show you guys because we give a lot of blood wings around here at Phantom. A lot of guys earn them, but this guy right here, he had to be different. He had to be unique. And I I tell you, it was really fun. And I, this guy has balls. Watch this. Phantom wings of five jumps with Phantom. We did it for marketing. They're doing it. So your last few minutes. Right. So, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, Major. You know not what you do. Yes. <laughs> nines get bored easy. Hey, hey, oh, and look, look who's creeping up in the background over there. Uh, yeah. Uh, you got to watch this guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The soul tag. See, anyway, everybody see his tag? Yeah. This yeah. man is a glutton for punishment. Yeah, I believe it's out yeah. oh. They're in there now. Yeah. <laughs> Those aren't coming out. Good, right? Congratulations, brother. We love you. We love you. Oh. All right. We'll get baptized. Your baptism. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> sanitize him. Sanitize him. <laughs> you know, he's got to sanitize that. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. My favorite shape. Oh! But that's not. Brian's over there creeping in the background. You gotta watch out for Brian. Brian said, Y'all hit like a girl. <laughs> oh, you did this to yourself, Dan. I know. <laughs> Dan, Dan, Dan. You might regret this for the rest of your life, buddy. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. That, that's pronounced you hit the balls. That is balls right there. You remember your soul? <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's it. Who wants this? Who wants uh, we'll do? It. Hold on. Those Don't get, Don't get oh, down few of us. Boom! Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, boy. This is my son, David. Oh. 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 You know, it was funny watching that. Everybody was telling you to watch out for Brian because Brian, he saw your tag and he was coming to get you. But... As good as he got you, David got you much better. He did. He did. Yeah, I, 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 think I, I felt that wing pinning. That. I felt that wing pinning for a, a week or two or three. <laughs> yeah, well, join the club. I remember when I got my wings pinned on me. I was black and blue for days afterwards. But you know what? It, it was worth it. And, you know, uh, for people on the outside who aren't paratroopers, you know, who have never gotten blow wings before, watching that or seeing that would be – you know, would make them cringe and be like, why would you guys do that? But I'll tell you something, earning your wings at the age of 40, 50, or 60, earning them for the second time is so much more special than earning them whenever you're 19 or 20 years old. 
I mean, you got guys out here like I'll use Larry Barrels for an example, 86 years old, earning his wings, you know, Jeff East earning his wings. I mean, we're not 18 years old anymore. You know, yeah, it's was, a pretty special thing. And earning our wings at this age is, is really cool, especially to me. But Dan, I give you credit. You took some punches like a champ. man. <laughs> oh, I know, man. Uh, you know, you got to keep it interesting, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, Dan, on your first jump that you came out with us, um, you got to jump with Larry Bales. I did. And uh, that was also Larry's first jump. Mm -hmm. um, and I can tell you, I remember uh, I was jump master that day. And I landed on the drop zone and Larry come walking off with his parachute. And I, I made it a point because I wanted to go up to him and ask him how his jump was. I want to make sure he was all right. I want to make sure that he had a good time. And I started walking out there a little bit as he was coming up to the rally point. And I said, Mr. Bales, how's, how was your jump? And, you know, I was smiling and I was hoping he was as excited as I was. And the man looked at me with tears in his eyes. And I thought, okay, I can't, I can't look at this. I, you know, I just shook his hand and, and I, and I walked away and I told my wife, I said, I, I can't look at Larry. I'll start crying. But it was a special day for Larry because, you know, the first time he had jumped in, I, I think what, 50 or 60 years, years, something years. like that. And, you know, the cool thing was, is afterwards, uh, he was kind of, uh, hanging out, uh, soaking up some of the air conditioning at elite rigging and, um, behind the scenes without everybody watching, you made it a point to come in there and present him with a coin and tell him how cool his jump was. Um, and you shook his hand. Um, I actually got some of that on video. You are an inspiration to jumpers, young and old. You're here. So, yes. here, here, here. This is my nice This is, uh, uh, nice this is my son. Yes. And I hope to, I hope I can get him back down here and get him in membership of uh, Phantom. So that's his. This is my granddaddy's. He jumped into Sicily in uh, Operation Husky. Wow. So that's my grandpappy's. And this is my dad. My dad was with the 11th Air Born over in Germany in 1954 to 57. So thank you. Thank you for your service and thank you for being you. Damn. You are truly a great man. Yes, sir. And I know that you weren't doing it for the camera and you weren't doing it for a show for everybody to see. Um, talk about that a little bit because that was a super cool moment. Yeah. You know, Larry, Larry Barrels could be my grandfather in, in physical stature, airborne spirit, everything. I mean, it, it you know, I think it was our, it was my first jump with Phantom and we were standing around there at, uh, at Skydive City kind of waiting for, for bar and all that stuff. And we were talking about how, you know, how long has it been since you jumped and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And Larry comes strutting up, you know, in his uniform and stuff like that. DD-214 hanging out of his pocket, you know. I want to jump. And, you, you know, I'm watching this guy, and I'm thinking, my grandfather is rosen from <laughs> the grave. He's coming up. I think there's going to be an airborne action figure uh, of Larry, Larry Bales coming out. I mean, he coming is. Coming to uh, a quartermaster store near you. Yeah, I, would yeah. I would definitely buy one of those. With the yeah. Kung Fu grip. Like I said, he's, you know, sitting there in the door and – and, and, you know, Greg, you, you said, you know, first jump coming off the drop zone and stuff. And, and you know, I'm looking at this guy and I go, God, you know, it's, it's like my grandfather, like I said, the airborne spirit. Mm -hmm. But I thought, you know, looking at some people, you're like, okay, maybe one and done. The man mm -hmm. just keeps coming back. Yeah. And, he does. and he the did smile two, gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. He did yeah. two jumps that day, two land jumps. He did. He did. Yep. And then you presented him with, with one of your, your star major coins too, didn't you? I, I did. You know, I, and I'll, I'll show them. Um, so, you know, I do this thing. So I had this, this is my coin. I love me, you know, all the stuff that I've done in the military, a little bit of personal stuff, you know, on the back there. And, you know, so I did one for me, you know, I did one for my, uh, my, my grand, my, my dad who was in the 11th, you know, my grandfather who was, uh, you know, he jumped into operation Husky and stuff. And then I actually did one for my son and I got to redo this one here because, you know, the, the down here at the bottom, you know, where the five tick marks are, that's, that's no longer accurate because he's no longer five jump chump. So, so yeah, I presented Larry with, uh, you know, one of mine and I do that, you know, I, I got a bunch of them and I, anytime I see an airborne guy or, you know, great America running around, I kind of present him with a coin and stuff. That's my own personal one. And, uh, uh, actually, Larry, you know, like I said, he just keeps coming back. He, he's one of the few people that have us one of the whole set of four um, because he's just, you know, it's just airborne. He just, 
you know, get, gives off the airborne spirit. I mean, it's just yeah. crazy. Well, that was nice that you presented the coin to him. And, you know, you didn't do it for show, like I said. Yeah. No, um, you kind of did it behind the scenes. I just was fortunate enough that I, I caught it as you were walking up to him, and I did get a little bit of video of it. Um, but it, the reason I bring that up is because um, it was a special moment for him. He appreciated that. Phantom pr appreciated that. And that speaks to your character and the kind of guy you are. So, you know, thank you. So, Star Major, so, you know, you've been, like you said, about eight or nine months, you've been doing this, you've got your your five jumps and earn your phantom wings. You know, if you saw somebody, anybody, any former paratrooper who was thinking about coming out and, and you know, making either, you know, making a jump or at least coming to check out phantom, what would you tell them? What would either your advice be or, or whatever encouragement you think you would give to somebody who is interested in potentially jumping again with phantom? Yeah. Like I said, I'm shy and introverted. So anytime I see anybody in an airborne hat or an airborne shirt, you know, I'm usually in their face and, you know, now phantom airborne comes up and, and, you know, matter of fact, I got cards that I made up that has, uh, you know, the, the phantom airborne stuff on it. So I, I give my, it's got my stuff on it, but also it has a reference to, to phantom. Um, and, and I back them into a corner and tell them, you know, you, you feel like jumping and, you know, and, yeah yeah you know and then you put the put the, put them right in the grinder it's like well hey i have i got something for you you know phantom airborne you know they'll put you out of an aircraft and you know they start to get that wild-eyed look like what you know i'm it's been 50 years since i jumped it's been 30 years you know i'm i got some owies you know i'm, I'm a little bit heavier than i used to be it's like you just, just so i just tell them you know go to this go to the website read up on it watch the videos see what this outfit does they will take care of you you want to jump if there's a way that we can get you to in, into an aircraft and out of an aircraft, we'll do it. Um, you know, and, and I, I, I spout off some, uh, you know, statistics like the, the May water jump that we did. We did, you know, 180 some paratroopers out of there. You know, I, I you know, I might be off my numbers a little bit, but, you know, like three paraplegics, a one armed guy. You know, we had a, a paraplegic with a service dog strapped to him. And, you know, then their eyes just start going, what? And I said, you know, because usually when they say, well, I can't take the impact of the ground, you know, you know, get on a water jump. They do two to three water jumps a year. There's almost zero impact in the water. You know, so there is a jump out there for you. And I'd, I'd say do it. Do it right now. If you're watching this podcast, you, you need to go to phantomairborne.us and you need to start clicking and typing. And by the time I get done talking, you know, you, you need to be a member. Guys like you are. um the exception and not the norm. Um, we want to see you become more involved. How do you see yourself becoming a little more involved with Phantom? Well, you know, as, as I've jumped with over the eight and eight, nine months, you know, I live down here in Homosassa, Florida, which is an hour and 10 minutes. I can do it in an hour, probably 50 minutes if, if I tried uh, to get up to elite rigging. So I, I, I'm blessed and privileged to be that close to, to the Phantom headquarters. Um, so, uh, you flash the, the PAB signal and I'll be there, you know, so we'll talk more about it. But, you know, like I said, I'm shy and introverted. On that note of being shy and introverted, do you have any final thoughts for our uh, viewers and listeners out there? Um, yeah, uh, just a couple things. W one is buddy check. Uh, so, you know, for everyone seeing this podcast, uh, once again, you know, before I get done talking, you need to, you need to pick up your phone and contact whoever, Who's ever name popped into your head when I said buddy check? Because some somebody's name popped into your mind. We got to take care of each other. Um, and if it is an airborne buddy that you're you're, you're checking on, uh, you, you need to bring them into the the phantom fold um, because you know uh, veterans and and paratroopers and you know just people in general. You know your world gets kind of small as you get older and you know things happen to you and stuff like that. So you got to do the buddy checks uh, and you, and you got to take care of each other. Uh, so whatever that means. I'd like to give a shout out to the, all the flat-bellied, steely-eyed paratroopers of the 3rd Battalion Airborne uh, 4th Air Defense Artillery Regiment at Bragg, you know, my alma mater. Um, and other than that, just airborne. Uh, well, well Sergeant sorry. Major, you you will have the distinction of um, always being our very first interview. So thank you for being here today. Uh, we appreciate you being here, and we appreciate you being a part of Phantom. Uh, we hope you're around here for a long time. And more importantly, we appreciate your friendship. Thank you much. I honored and a privilege to be here. Uh, all the way, brother. Thank you. Thanks, man.
All right, guys, next we have Brian Watkins with Airborne Apparel Company. Um, for you guys who don't know, uh, Airborne Apparel Company, uh, we partnered with them uh, probably uh, six or eight months ago now. Brian uh, is a, a paratrooper and a veteran, uh, which makes this whole partnership and this process of coming up with cool items in the quartermaster store so much easier. Um, he uh, has a passion for paratroopers, just like the rest of us. And um, his company does amazing work. In fact, a lot of you guys have purchased some of the, the new um, uh, shirts and, and items from uh, from our quartermaster store that were made by Airborne Apparel Company, and have all commented on you know how awesome they are, how well they fit, you know the quality of them. So, Brian, welcome. Hey, thanks, Greg. Happy to be here. So, tell us a little bit about how you became involved with Phantom. How how uh, you found an organization. I initially heard about Phantom 2019, 2020-ish maybe, and uh, the guys I served with in the 313th and the 82nd um, sent me a message said, hey, we're going to do a jump down in Florida. And it sounded really great, but timing just, just didn't work out on it very well and kind of forgot about it. And then TikTok, of all things, just started posting some, some videos that we made here and then uh, started started seeing your, your, your guys' stuff and, and liked it, of course. And then we kind of started chatting on the side and before you know it, we're making shirts and taking time off to come down and jump out of a plane again. Your videos are amazing, by the way. Everybody loves them. I don't know how you come up with that stuff. <laughs> um, you know, from, from a guy who does the video work, you impress me every single time and you make me feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Well, speak of your uh, jump, do you care to uh, walk us through your first jump with a Phantom? Oh, yeah. I mean, just so I'd always wanted to jump out of a C-47. You know, once I was out, that was, you know, I didn't <clears throat> didn't think that existed anywhere anymore. And then to get to do it, when I first started talking to Greg about seriously doing a jump, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to do this. You know, I was kind of like... Um, other people was like, oh, I'm going to do it once and I'll be happy. And so I figured I'll, I'm going to do it from a 47 and then got that set up. And then now it's like, okay, we're looking at being back in November. And yeah, it was, it was amazing. And I, it's funny because you think you remember everything until the shoots laying on front on the ground in front of you for the first time in 27 years. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's where this goes. And that's what this is. And you just forget how much you how routine it was. Some of it's just like, you know, falling off a bike, but you know, and I wasn't even nervous until I was on the second, second pass. So we were outboard. Then once, the, once, once the first stick went out and we moved over and I was standing there and I had door position. It was, it was not as routine as it used to be. So I was standing there in the door and it was up until we moved to the door. I was good. And then once we were standing there, I was waiting for him to say, stand in the door. I'm like, Hmm, maybe, maybe I should have been done with this and not do it again. But it was just, just that little bit of hesitation. And then once you're there and you're standing in the door, it's like, just like it always was just an amazing feeling, but you just, you just can't get anywhere else. Yeah, Brian, we were, I, I was on that jump with you. I was on the same lift, same pass. I was a couple of jumpers behind you. Um, and, and, you know, it was fun jumping with you and, and meeting you. And uh, the night before, after, uh, after we did sustained airborne training, and you said November, right? So you're coming back down in November. So I'll see you in November. But um, you did mention a land jump. Are you going to try and get a land jump in with with Phantom? Because that's uh, I know a lot of folks use the water because it's a little softer on all of our old bodies. But uh, the the water jumps, you know, the land jumps really kind of make a difference, and it makes it a little bit different experience. Are you going to try that out? Yeah, like I said, I definitely want to do that. And then initially, I didn't even want to do a water jump. I was like, I don't want to do a water jump. But that that ended up being the only jump that I could that we could work out schedule wise that would guarantee a forty seven slot. So, Brian, uh, one really cool thing that uh, that you've done uh, since we formed our partnership, and I have to mention that this was all your idea. This was not something that Phantom asked you to do. This was not something that you know I brought up to you. You brought it to me. Um, is that you're doing donation shirts and with those donation shirts, you're sending a portion of every shirt sold right back into Phantom Airborne. Um, I know that the first shirt that we did, um, you know, did really well. Um, we currently, uh, have uh, a couple of other shirts right now that are, uh, the, the Phantom donation shirts. Um, speak a little bit about, you know, uh, what your vision was there. Um, and, um, 
you know, give us a little update on, on, on those shirts. Sure. So, you know, ever since, um, started airborne apparel company back in 2019, you know, but the first, I think the first big, big amount of sales that we did, we donated to a veterans organization, but it, and it wasn't a lot of money. And so trying to find an organization that, um, you know, it felt like our donation would at least make an impact has always been something I was looking for. And that just kind of one of the things that clicked um, with, with us and Phantom. And so with the, with the shirts we did the first time, um, I think it was the same time as we started a couple of the different shirts for the quartermaster store. So it was kind of a, a rollout of a whole bunch of new stuff. And those, those were cool. And, and people really jumped on those partly because they were Phantom shirts. They knew they were given back, but those went really well. Um, and what we did with those was we, you know, we just don't, we, we donated five bucks for every, every Phantom t-shirt that was sold. And I think we were able at that point, um, we were able to do, I think we did 10% of our total sales for a, a certain amount of time as well. Um, for this current, for this current uh, sale, we're doing polos, which we had a four are wearing. Um, and, and those, because they're priced a little higher, uh, we're doing eight bucks a piece on those that were, um, that were given back to Phantom. Then we have some performance um, kind of like Under Armour style shirts. And so, the, and th for those, we're, do we're doing five bucks again. We're going to, I think we're going to figure something out so that we're constantly able to, to give a little back, even if we're not doing a special shirt, but then just kind of come up with something special once in a while um, to do that. And I think about, about 350 right now with the, with the sale of the polos and the, uh, and the performance shirts. You know, we're doing something so it, it feels good. And like I said, we'll, we'll figure out a way to, keep that faucet open a little bit anyway. Yeah. Well, and at the May water jump, um, you know, you presented uh, a check to Phantom for over $1,300. Like we said, we, we, um, we planned from the beginning when we, when we launched that shirt um, to do $5 per shirt that got sold. Um, along with that, for this, for the time that the shirt was out there, we were also doing 10% of our, of our, of our regular sales. So it's not an enormous amount, but we were, we were, um, we came up to $1,350. You know, that's not small potatoes, you know, no. th that money, um, it goes directly into our organization. You know, think about it. $1,300 will buy us a complete SF 10 a system. You know, that that's an entire parachute pretty much that you donated that money, you know, helps other veterans, you know, so that actually went a lot better than I anticipated it. And we appreciate, uh, you know, that donation, um, you know, just the fact that, you know, you're a partner and you're a vendor with us and you still give back to us. That's, that's kind of a big deal. And we appreciate it. Just wanted you to know that. It's just, it's just been an awesome experience from a personal perspective, from a veteran perspective and, mm -hmm. and from a business perspective, it's just, it's, I, I don't think there's been a downside yet. You seem to have a pretty good pulse on the airborne community and, and what all of us like out there. Your website is, uh, probably second to the Phantom Quartermaster store for ones that trick me into buying more things I don't need. So are there any other collections that you've made that you want to showcase and talk about while we're here? Um, been, been kind of updating some stuff or expanding some existing collections. So we've got um, one, the Fayetteville collection. So we've got um, a Vietnam veteran shirt in there. I think that was the first one we did that kind of fit into that. And then, um, got a flaming mug shirt and a Rick's lounge shirt. And we just added a doll, um, the doll house and house of doll shirts, um, recently as well. So, and those For are the record. Like, I don't know what those places are. I've never been to any either. of them. I just, I, someone asked I me about it. So I just, sure I came both up with of those. Design. So we're okay. <laughs> that would actually rob the, uh, I saw you had the herd shirt on the other day and I wasn't sure if that was an original or if that was one you got from us. But that, was yeah, like, oh, that was one of ours. Cause I was looking at, I just, I love that design. That's just our, our reproduction of an old shirt that we came across. And it's like, Oh, I love that. And there's another one from, um, from 507th in the seventies that we just put up, um, a ju just a jump school shirt. That's just like, it's got the really seventies kind of swirly font and the, the DUI isn't like perfect svg artwork it's like someone drew it and it's a little disproportioned and and those are the designs we really love because we just try and keep all the hand-drawn stuff and the weird looking artwork that isn't up to today's standards but that's what it was and it just looks kind of cool so trying to keep those details in there is, is always fun 
Yeah, and I, you've done a good job of staying true to some of the original PT style shirts that we all have loved in the past and our significant others won't let us wear because they're uh, stained and holed up and <laughs> so <laughs> two sizes too small. Two, small. two sizes small. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they shrink. I mean, over, over time, you wash them a few times and they shrink. Every 10 oh, years. Brian, thank you very much for all that you do for Phantom. Thank you for being a part of our organization, man. And uh, we thank you for taking your time to uh, be on the show with us this evening, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate you guys as well. And uh, we'll see most, if not all of you in uh, in November and hopefully more often between now and then. Well, we'll, we'll see you on DZ, brother. Yep. Everyone all the way. Right, thanks. See you, Brian. Keep feeding these together. I'd like to thank both of our guests. Uh, I don't think we could have asked for better first guest on our show. In Command Sergeant Major Dane Ridgeway, fantastic human being, great listening to you. Brian Watkins, the uh, the airborne spirit is alive with you, brother. Keep doing good things. Thank you guys for joining us this evening. Airborne all the way. We'll see you guys on the drop zone. Yeah.